Virgos. Hey, my lovies. What is going on? Welcome back to your messages. This is going to be um a quick read for you guys. Happy Father's Day Eve to all my fathers out there doing big Virgo things. Yes, yes. I know y'all doing y'all job and doing it well. All right. And to my mothers, you know, you're not a father, but if you're holding it down, baby, you celebrate for yourself this weekend, okay? You ain't got to wait for nobody to do anything. <laughs> celebrate all right so if the father's not there oh well you are enjoy yourself okay not saying you can ever take the place of a father but baby we do what we do right when you gotta step up you step up right so i just wanted to tell you guys that and i'm sending you love light and positive energy as always let's go we're just gonna dive right in you want your prayers from the previous video thank you holy spirit for clarity messages of truth love and light for the virgo thank you so much for your divine hand of protection over each and every one of us let's go ahead and get started with the overall energy okay what i'm feeling right now is the sense that somebody is kind of paranoid all right you could be thinking the worst so all in your head virgo or this is this person somebody is paranoid about commitment somebody could be afraid of commitment yeah so we got release somebody's trying to release negative thinking all right with this emotional card cancer pisces scorpio somebody could be releasing and a water sign but i feel like this is somebody releasing some type of negative emotions worries or doubts somebody could be crying all right somebody could be purging just trying to suppress whatever negative in it whatever energy is kind of feeling out of whack or out of balance somebody is could even be holding back their feelings or somebody has been holding back their feelings and now they're about to release how they really feel but i feel like somebody is kind of paranoid and stuck in their emotions when it comes to this relationship somebody could be really ready to pleasure you somebody could be ready to come together um it's the weekend vibe somebody could be just really enjoying themselves somebody's having a few drinks with this ace of water energy i feel like somebody has been yeah just enjoying some drinks enjoying some time and this is making somebody emotional you could be going toward a person that you haven't seen in a while or coming together with someone this weekend all right this is father's day weekend so it's the weekend where people are going to be gathering so you could be coming together with somebody and i see this ace of water energy baby it could be a lot of emotion somebody could have an emotional outpour somebody really expressing themselves but somebody is paranoid we got compassion here. So somebody could be expressing love to you, telling you how much they care for you. And somebody could be releasing this, showing you how they really feel. Ooh, what is happening here? Show me the Ace of Cups. Somebody could be dealing with the water sign. Somebody's going to be emotional, really pouring their heart out, telling you about building a solid foundation. Somebody could be confessing their feelings. Somebody could be telling you how they feel and how much they want to build with you. All right, somebody could be complimenting you, but whatever this is, somebody is really pouring out their feelings, and this could be after they've had some drinks. Oh, your spirit guides are here. Usually, they're here to warn you about something. They're here to protect you or guide you through this situation, maybe as a reminder for you to stay in control, practice self-control, and don't really get too comfortable with this person. Um, it's some type of warning here, y'all, about this energy. We got spy cards. So you can have somebody keeping a close eye on you, somebody spying on you, trying to keep tabs on you. Somebody could be watching you, inspecting, trying to see what you're doing. All right, y'all always have somebody spying. Somebody could be asking you a lot of questions. You could feel like this person is so controlling, right? Somebody misses having control in the relationship or being able to dominate, I'm feeling. Wow, y'all. Somebody wants you to make a decision. Somebody could really be pouring their heart out, telling you that they're ready to build a solid foundation. They're ready to build with you and grow with you. But why is your spirit God's here? Let's break this down. We're about to get a tarot and just jump straight in because I want to know what's happening here, what's going on, and it's requiring you to make a decision. All right, so let's see what is up right here. Like, what is really good? What's happening with the Virgo? All right, so let's see. We're going to get the tarot. Which ones are we going to use today? Let's use these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and Ancestors, and Gods. Thank you so, so much, Spirit Gods. Show me clear messages for Virgo. 
does Virgo need to know at this time? I'm being called to use my other card, so let me switch decks real quick, y'all. Let me switch decks real quick, real quick. All right, so we're going to use these. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Show me clear messages for my Virgo lovies. What is going on? If you're a father, put it in the comments so we can show you love. You know how we do. We love on each other in the comments section over here. So, y'all, um, put it in the comments if you are a father. If you're a single mom, put it in the comments, y'all, so I can show you some love. All right, y'all, we got one day to announce the winner in the drawing. It's Father's Day tomorrow, so I'm going to do my best to announce the winner tomorrow night, or either it's going to be early Monday. Either way, I'm going to post the winner on the community board, so you guys are going to know who won, okay? Um, let's see. It's going to be somebody who gave me their email address. Either I already have your email address, or you gave it to me, okay? Let's see what's going on. Show me control tactics. My members are so sweet. A lot of my members didn't even enter to win. That is so sweet. Because they, they pour into our channel already. So they just, they're so loving and selfless. I appreciate you guys. So we got control tactics. Seven of Cups energy, choices, and opportunities. Hmm. Somebody could really be trying to be strategic about how to get you back. I feel like this person is so paranoid that... You're going to move on without them, that you're not going to need them, or they're paranoid to ask you about how you feel about them and if they could come back to you. Somebody is really in their head about that, and they daydream about this. There's a lot of indecision with the Seven of Cups, and this is also reminding you to choose wisely with the Seven of Cups energy. We got Release, Surrender, and Purge. We got King of Cups, a mature masculine, devoted father figure, faithful, balanced, family-oriented, affection, reliable, and leadership. All right, so with this release and surrender, you can have this King of Cups releasing. Like, it's somebody's emotional about this energy. Somebody could be thinking about Father's Day. This person could be thinking about you and how you make them feel. But there's this King of Cups that is very emotional. They miss how you love them. They miss being able to love you. Somebody definitely has something going on with the King of Cups energy. And this person is, why are they crying? Show me, let's see if who this is, Virgo. Because this could be you getting sad over somebody that you love a lot. And you miss nurturing them. But it has something to do with a lot of love. A outpour of emotions and nurturing. So show me one more on this King of Cups energy. The Five of Cups. Yeah, this person is sad. Feeling regret and grief. Somebody's feeling lost and heartbreak. They feel let down or they feel like they let you down. Um, Let's see. Why is this Five of Cups here? Oh my gosh. Feeling defeated with the Five of Wands. Conflict, competition, tension, ego clashing. Somebody could feel like it's a struggle, like to go on without you or to not have you in their life. What is going on, y'all? You're going to hear something from this person or somebody is going to show you this emotions. King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Passionate and lustful, powerful, stability, loyalty. So... You guys, with this Knight of Wands energy, somebody could be heartbroken and sad. They could be saying that they love you and they feel like they ruined everything. They could feel like you got you have somebody else. Somebody could be seeing somebody younger and this King of Cups is jealous. Somebody could be seeing a fire sign. Um, somebody younger and they feel like you're... They could feel like you see somebody younger and more attractive. This could be male or female energy, but somebody is kind of jealous here. <laughs> Show me the energy from the night. Yeah, somebody's feeling like they're getting loved on by another person. Somebody feels like you have somebody else, Virgo. And this person is jealous. So they're about to try to move in. They're being strategic. They're about to try to talk to you, say something. This person is crying. Like they feel very, very sad. They're thinking about the arguments that you guys had. It's like they're having mental conflict about this because they can't get you back. And here's the Ace of Cups and then the, the 
dang the release emotions card this person is crying somebody has this emotional water sign or somebody is really crying because they love you queen of cups somebody could be dealing with the queen of cups or you're the mother figure you're um you could be the a mother a mom um and this person has you in their emo in your emotions you could miss having this person's love around but this person is crying and this could get you emotional i feel like somebody here you both could be thinking about each other but somebody feels bad for letting you down they feel like they really ruined a good thing somebody misses how you love them and when you were with them trying to nurture them and trying to care for them somebody could have been cheating they could have been wandering around spreading their energy everywhere somebody's thinking about this and i feel like father's day makes this person very emotional poor thing whoever this is crying tears over you this person is sad and this could be a queen of coin i mean a queen of cups we got the queen of cups but this king of cups over here like it could very well be a queen but the king of cups also represents a father somebody who feels like they ruined things they had it good with you but they ruined it so y'all take it how it resonates guys um, what's this King of Cups, um, this Queen of Cups thinking about? Because the King of Cups feels sad. This is a couple here. This is somebody who used to be a couple or they are a couple. The Queen of Cups is feeling emotionally fulfilled. This person feels like they have everything they want. They're very content with life. They're content with their peace. They're getting their wishes fulfilled. Luxury, success, pleasure, and abundance. So, wow. It looks like somebody is struggling over here while you're on the come up. So, Wow. Let's see. Show me forming a solid foundation. So somebody has a lot of love for you and they feel like they ruined something. So they're going to be strategic in talking to you about weddings, getting back together, coming home, some type of reunion. Somebody could want to get back with you. Harmony, joy. Somebody wants this back. It's like somebody wants their family back and they're going <laughs> to... They're going to catch you off guard with this one, Virgo. I can't lie to you. Somebody's going to be talking about wanting their family back or wanting another chance with you. This Father's Day, I don't know if you've heard from this person or not, but they're going to be super emotional. And they're really going to be pouring out their feelings. You, This person could have been silent for a long time. Um, but with the Four of Wands energy, Wands represent um, quick, fast, something happening quick. So with the Four of Wands, it's going to be happening very quick, all right? The Four of Wands is very soon, very quick. And then we got Two of Cups. Wow. Somebody's going to be talking to you about forming a solid foundation. They're going to be talking to you about you being their soulmate or you're the person for them or they've always loved you. I feel like somebody is really missing the love you gave them. They're regretting not starting this family with you not honoring this commitment somebody regrets not honoring the commitment when they had an opportunity show me um integration union somebody wanting to come back ten of pentacles they want this family dynamic with you this is talking about marrying into money somebody feels like you're successful or both of you together would be a real power couple and be able to build an empire together Somebody is talking about roots and building a legacy with you. Wow. Show me Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. This person is feeling like you stand your ground. You're as, um, you are an, a high achiever, intelligent, and you know your worth. This is somebody sees you as a person who does not like to show weakness. You're very strong. You're very resilient. And this person is... I feel like it makes them a bit insecure. Something about this makes this person super paranoid. I feel like they're thinking the worst. They're afraid of being hurt. They are afraid of being rejected if they come to you and open up and let you know how they feel. But somebody is really going through. Somebody is thinking about you very passionately and they want to talk to you. What is this King of Pentacles thinking about? So the King of Pentacles, real quick, y'all, you see the King of Pentacles looking over at the relationship. The King of Pentacles is thinking about forming a solid foundation, four of wands, a relationship, a marriage, and their soulmate. I feel like this person is reflecting 
and this king of pentacles doesn't have to be an earth sign it could be but um this is somebody who has a lot of love for you and they're missing you somebody's realizing that they really messed up five of wands they're having a lot of mental conflict just thinking about you this person is emotional it's a king of so i really feel like it's a king of cups energy or some type of emotional person that has money that they're, they're established they're loyal they're wise somebody has grown Show me um what's the message? Wait, what's on what's the queen of the queen of swords? Virgo, this is you and this queen of swords energy standing your ground. Yep, here you are. Patience and slow, hard working, conservative, methodical, methodical, and grounded effort. Right? So you're dating with a purpose. You're making moves with a purpose. Everything you do is adding up to what you want and what you expect. So you're strategic. You're you're planning, and it's like you're you're ahead of the game. Put it like that. You already saw this coming. Like whatever this is, you already have great foresight on this person. Their feelings, what's happening, is almost like Virgo knows everything about what this person is feeling and what might be going on. So you are. It's no secret to you that this person still loves you and they want another opportunity. You might not know that they're crying real tears and they're really reflecting on the past and their mistakes. This part you may not know. However, you do know that this person still has a soft spot for you. So this person could be asking about you, looking out for you, wanting to see you again. Let's see what's going on with the spy. Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So somebody is feeling like they, they're having a lot of setbacks. All right, somebody's spying. Um, this could be somebody who is um that you work with, possibly. All right. But this is somebody who is trying to pay attention to the details, learning more about you with this eight of pentacles. Yeah, and the four of pentacles, they're holding on tightly. All right, somebody is possessive, holding on, guarded, financial control and security. All right, somebody is trying to keep their head above water and stay afloat. All right, but they're watching you, studying you, trying to see what you're up to, trying to learn more about you and how to get in your good graces. <laughs> somebody is really, really paying attention. Virgo, you could even be using your cards. You could be getting reading and trying to see what is up with the energy around you because you could really feel this emotional pull because somebody is all in their feelings about you. And this poor person is just crying. They're emotional. And they might not be boohooing, but tears are rolling. Like this person is super emotional about them spilling the cups and maybe not even getting another chance with you. And this person is regretting trying to control the situation and create illusions for you. Somebody is really thinking about their actions here. And I feel like your distance has a huge part to play in them reflecting. Assistance. Yeah, your distance has a really big part to play in it. I had to write that down, y'all. Look, I got to start writing it down so I can have a good title. Let me see. So assistance. Let's see. Spirit guide and assistance. What are the spirit guides here for for Virgo? What's, what's the spirit guide's message? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Two of Swords, a stalemate and decision, Queen of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Wow. So, wow. Underneath the bottom of the deck is you being single, Virgo. This is in the near future. So, if you, I really feel like that's what this is. Yeah, things are going to grow stagnant. You're going to be happy without all the confusion and the stress. It looks like you're going to end up avoiding this person. Let's see. Show me. Because the divine is telling you to. The divine is telling you that it's a truth. All right. This person is going to want to to they're gonna make they're gonna want a truce with you 
They're going to want to settle differences. They're going to want things to come on one accord. They're going to want to work things out with you with the two of pentacles. They want to balance. It's a lot going on in their life. It's a lot of ups and downs between you and them. Somebody is going to be trying to balance everything. All right. This person finds you attractive. They find you intelligent. They feel like you're ambitious, confident, sexy. You're a take charge type of person. Somebody really loves your energy, Virgo, male or female. And they want to work things out. You're not one that they want to have bad blood with, right? And so your angels are here to try to help you balance the situation with this person. Show me decisions. Um, you're also being told to have self-control. Don't let the things that they say and their high emotion really get the best of you. Because this person is going to, they're, they're going to be on an emotional high. Like this person could really actually be talking to you and then you see the tear roll down. It's going to be that deep. And you're being told to try to keep it together and pay close attention. Don't be so easy to fall for that, okay? Right now, the Virgo that I'm talking to, you already have a lot of beautiful things going on in your life. And you feel happy. You feel like you have more than enough, all right? Or things are coming together for you. And it might be slow, but they're coming together. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor. So you want to be careful who you let back in your life and who you pour into, all right? So... Show me decisions. A decision is going to be made. And this is what your spirit guides are here telling you. That this person is going to want to truth. They're going to want to work things out. Somebody is going to give you an equal give and take. So your guides are here. They're going to help you with this if this is really what you want. They're here to bring assistance. All right. So show me the decisions. What's the decision? For highest good, for Virgo, judgment, a renewal and a change, healing and a second chance. Wow. Show me what about the second chance? What does Virgo need to know for their highest good regarding this relationship? Ace of Swords, talk it out. Wow, you're going to be talking to somebody and y'all might start over. Somebody is going to start over. And somebody could be thinking like underneath the bottom of the deck, you could be reminded of what a burden it was before to try to deal with this person. But somebody's going to be talking to you about this. Somebody's going to be talking to you about starting something over. Wow. You're going to have a decision to make. You are. So right now, there's a door open for you. This person is going to apologize. And the universe is going to be waiting for you to make a decision to let the universe know what you want to do with this relationship. Whatever this is, it's going to be a second chance for you and this person. And it's up to you. So... Get ready. This is coming. This is what's going to happen. This is it's going to be up to you to decide the fate of this relationship. And somebody's going to be expecting you to make a decision. But they are going to bring you an apology. All right. This person is going to apologize. Let me see. What's the message in closing for my Virgos? What is the message in closing for my Virgos? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do you want Virgos to know at this time? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. All right, y'all, you're being told to walk in stillness. Wow, what I tell y'all, Virgo? You see that? The path to love. Your divine soul partner is searching for you, and soon you both will find each other. Stay the course and have faith. Somebody wanted to know if love is coming. Somebody is about to apologize and this is going to blow you away. It's something here that's opening up for you and the universe is going to be waiting for you to make a decision. Initial spark. There's potential in a person or a situation to develop into something in the future. How you approach it is up to you. And then we have become a source of light. You're a natural healer born to bring New healing methods to whatever areas you choose to work in. Walk in stillness. There is no choice to make right now. Just be still. You don't always need to join in or jump in. So this energy could be telling you to let everything flow naturally. It's nothing you need to do extra at the time. But you will have a decision to make. Remember I told you. All right, y'all. Book at closer to number two, mydestiny.com while I'm still doing readings. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye, my lovies.